Yo, it's a ton here, and I've been a little bit quiet lately, haven't I? I know I haven't uploaded in like maybe a little less than a month, maybe a month at this point, and my uploads lately have just been reaction videos. Sorry, I've been super busy with busy with life lately. Um, I am gonna still do, be doing reaction videos while I work on some other projects, but I figured to at least put a different video out there. I'll do a quick pickups video, uh, my recent video game pickup. So uh, if you guys are new here, you know you should probably subscribe because you know, we only post bangers. We only post. bangers. Bangers! The first one, you guys are gonna be like, wow, you only just now added this to your collection? And well, you did shit. You can shut up. Don't make fun of me, okay? I found it at Goodwill like a week and a half ago, and I didn't have it in the collection yet, so figured I'd add it. Uh, Wii Sports Resort. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't really have to talk about why this game is great because everyone knows why this game is great. It's a lot of fun. The sword fighting one, or the sword fighting mini game best one this next game and i've mentioned it in other videos but uh for some of my like cartridge based games not like nes snes and 64 but stuff like game boy game boy color game boy advance game gear stuff like that um i buy custom cases for them like plastic cases and i buy them from a website called customgamecases.com i've mentioned this before but if you're new i might as well mention this again if you guys are looking for a nice convenient way to display your game boy games Whatever games, uh, even they do have NES and like SNES and N64 and options for that too. They're really great. Um, this is not sponsored or anything. I just love, I just love them so much. Uh, I would highly recommend them. Speaking of, this is why I brought it up. One of my recent pickups is on the Game Gear. It's called Chuck Rock. Uh, this was a complete blind buy. Um, I am planning eventually on going for the complete Game Gear set because it's a small set, and so I would need to get this anyways. This was a complete blind buy. I don't know anything about it. I mean, I haven't played it yet, but I thought it was pretty cool. I like I like the cover art, and yeah, it's got a custom case and everything. You can see the inside right here, uh, and like it does have a spot to fit the manual, so I might buy the manual separately. But yeah, the next one we'll also talk about the custom game cases for it. Uh, Wolfenstein 3D on the Game Boy Advance. I have played I played the first stage of this. I mean, obviously, it's not the best rendition of. Wolfenstein, uh, it being on the Game Boy Advance, uh, it could kind of do 3D. But I mean, I still was having fun with this. Uh, it's definitely, it definitely could be a lot worse on Game Boy Advance, I will tell you that. Um, I know probably the gameplay that I'm showing right now doesn't look the prettiest, and I'm not going to completely lie to you and say, oh, this game runs so good on Game Boy Advance, it is so fun, it's a hidden gem. It's good, it's fun. Not the best version of Wolfenstein, but I was still having fun with it. And I would go ahead and recommend it. It wasn't too expensive. I think I paid 25 for this. Next game needs no introduction. One man by the name of Scott DeWaz influenced me to buy this game. This game is amazing. It's very special. Probably the best game in all of existence. You know, I don't think any game has ever topped to this game. It's Gex Knight. Is it Gex Knight? I've been waiting for this for years. Uh, I got this at a little small expo, um, a video game expo that was in my hometown. Uh, yeah, I don't really have anything to say about this. I actually did purely buy, the, buy this because I, because of the memes from Scott the Waz, uh, and thought it was funny. I had actually I had my Scott the Waz merch on that said Gex, and I was like, okay, I think it's fitting if I buy a copy of Gex while I was at the expo. So, Gex. This next one. Again, you guys are gonna be like, wow, you haven't played this game yet. And wow, you waited to buy the Switch version. What is wrong with you? You're stupid. Yeah. But this came with the uh, expansion or whatever, the sub game. I don't even know if it's, I don't know if it's an expansion or a different game in the series, but Subnautica and then the Subnautica Below Zero. Um, I just hadn't played it yet. And I like, I wanted to have it physically. And this comes with the Below Zero expansion all on one cartridge. And so, yeah, it doesn't run bad on Switch at all. It, it looks pretty decent. And I'm having fun with it. I've only played it for about three or four hours, but I'm having fun with it. So, yeah. Uh, this is probably my most recent purchase. Um, I got this 
a week ago, a week and a half ago, while I was at my uh, local Smash Bros tournament because I play competitive Smash Bros. Uh, but this is the quarry on Xbox One. I know the Xbox, I don't have a Series X yet. When I buy a Series yeah, X, I'll upgrade my copy. But um, I, kinda, I just wanted to play the quarry. I, even though I know a lot of people have mixed opinions on the whole choose your, like the story driven, choose your own path, almost like it's an interactive movie. I know a lot of people don't like that stuff. I personally like them. Um, I'm like the only person that enjoys Life is Strange. I'm like the only person in the world that enjoys that series. Because uh, I played True Colors and I played the Switch versions of all versions. That, that version was not the pretty looking one. It was not very pretty looking. But I still enjoyed it. Uh, so the next game, uh, actually, you know what? I guess this is also a pretty, uh, I bought this actually the same day. I bought the quarry at the video game store when I was at my tournament. And I played, so it's Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon on the 3DS. I know the Nintendo Slice version. Oof. But um, I uh, I got this game because I played Luigi's Mansion 3 on the Switch. And I had so much fun with that game. I thought it was a fantastic game. It felt very complete. I know a lot of Nintendo games lately, they've been releasing an unfinished game and haven't. Uh, and then they'll just release content updates later on to finish the game. But anyway, I played Luigi's Mansion 3. I loved it. Sorry, I was trailing off, but I played Luigi's Mansion 3, 3 on the Switch. I absolutely loved it. I got about 30 hours into it. I got my money's worth. It's fantastic. Uh, I haven't played the first game. Um, I, know that there's I know there's a 3DS version of it. I don't know if I'm going to play that version or if I'm just going to play the GameCube version. But I love Luigi's Mansion 3, so I figured I would give Dark Moon a shot. I haven't played it yet, but I know overall I think this is... I think, like, from what I've heard from fans... The overall consensus is that this is the worst Luigi's Mansion game. Not a bad game, far from it. But this is just not as good compared to 1 and 3. But I figured I'd still give it a shot. So, yeah. Yeah, let me know what games you guys have been playing lately and what games you guys recommend for me to pick up. Um, I've been on a super big Switch and Game Boy pick lately, so recommend me some games. Um, I might have them, I might not. Yeah. And if you are new, please feel free to subscribe. It is completely free. It helps me out a lot. And if you don't subscribe, I will be sad. And you don't want to make me sad, right? Or maybe you do. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.